Falcon, Chief Engineer on Ops. Y'all select the landing. We're on the move. Well, while you were asleep, history was made overnight after Firefly Aerospace became the first commercial company ever to complete a fully successful moon landing. The goal of Firefly's Blue Ghost mission is to transport two deliveries of scientific investigations and technology demonstrations to different regions of the moon. The mission was part of NASA's Commercial Payload Services Initiative, which works with American companies to deliver NASA hardware to the moon's surface. It's supposed to be kind of like a rideshare here on Earth. That's a easy way to think of it. It's a more cost-effective and efficient way to get NASA science experiments and technology up to the moon. Fast and regular deliveries offer opportunities to test, refine, and learn from technologies that eventually will be needed for future operations on the moon. The rarity, though, of having two landers operating on the moon at the same time in different locations is what makes this especially exciting. So it, this is uh, an unprecedented first time um, mission uh, to be operating simultaneously on the lunar surface. One, it is money. And then for historically, um, you know, when we've done uh, low Earth orbit or other missions that, that the, the community is used to seeing, uh, most of those missions are going to relatively the same spot, if you will, right? And so these two missions are going to wildly different parts of the moon. One is going this 19D Firefly mission is going to a Mars Chrysium region. And then the other mission uh, being flown by intuitive machines is going to the South Pole. These commercial missions where NASA is one of many customers are pushing the boundaries of what's possible on the lunar surface and paving the way for future astronauts to live and work on the moon, maybe even beyond one day on places like Mars.